The beginning of 20th century was marked by the territorial race amongst the European countries. Here, territorial race means a fight to conquer more and more land or resources available in Europe, Asia or Africa. This territorial race became one of the biggest reasons for the beginning of the First World War. But the real spark came on June 1914 when the successor of Austria, Archduke Franz Ferdinand and his wife were killed by 19-year-old nationalist Gavrilo Princip seeking to end the Austria-Hungarian rule in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Please check out these countries in the map. The assassination challenged the authority of Austria-Hungary. Austria-Hungary blamed Serbia for supporting or aiding the assassination of Franz Ferdinand. And soon, Austria-Hungary declared war against Serbia by attacking Belgrade. At this time, the ruler of Russia, Tsar Nicholas II, came forward to defend and protect Serbia. On the other hand, Germany offered help to Austria-Hungary to showcase the strength of Germany to the world. With this, the world soon got divided and the war was declared. On the one hand, there were powers like UK, France, Russia, as you can see these countries colored in yellow in the map. The second group was of the central or axis powers like Germany, Austria-Hungary, as you can see these countries highlighted with pink shade in the map. Let's see how these countries got involved in the First World War, one after another. Austria-Hungary initiated war with Sardinia with the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand. Germany entered into war as a support to Austria-Hungary. Russia entered into war to support Serbia. Then Britain and France entered into war in support of Russia. Ottoman Empire entered into an alliance with Germany in the hope of reducing the influence of Britain and Russia. The Ottoman Empire was located at a strategic location near Mediterranean Sea and Black Sea, which gave easy access to Europe as well as Asia and Africa. Britain and Russia wanted to increase their influence in this region. Italy joined Allied powers to reduce the influence of Austria-Hungary. Japan entered the Allied group for colonial gains in Asia and reducing the influence of Germany in that region. And finally came United States of America. Initially, United States of America did not want to be a part of the war, but actions of Germany forced U.S. to join the war from the side of Allied group. German attack on American merchant ships and passenger vessels angered the American public. USA was also forced to enter into war when it realized that Germany was instigating Mexico to attack USA and there began the Great War. Initially, Germany retaliated strongly against France from its western border and against Russia from its eastern border. Though 
Britain had the world's largest or strongest navy, but Germany was no less with a strong submarine base, which could block Britain from all sides. But it wasn't an easy battle for either side. Soon, Allied powers gathered strength, armies, weapons at its disposal, along with the major support of United States of America. Allied powers easily encircled Germany or Central Powers. And after four years, Allied powers managed to win this historical war and Germany was held responsible for this war. And a harsh treaty of Versailles was imposed on it, which demilitarized Germany. Most of German resources were taken away by the Allied powers by imposing a huge war indemnity. To expand political influence and for economic gains, countries entered into the deadliest conflict of history. This drastic conflict took many lives. It is this war when technology and industrial revolution challenged the human survival. Soldiers suffocated in trench for years. Though Allied powers won the war, but in the eyes of humanity, it was one of the biggest failures. And with this came the end of the First World War.